Hi gamers, if you're a fan Metroidvania games, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I will talk about best Metroidvania games to play right now. Please note, I will not put Hollow Knight games because we all know Hollow Knight is a must play if you are a Metroidvania fan. Alright then, without further ado, let's get started. Momodora Moonlit Farewell is probably the most polished and smooth feeling of them. Although, you might be slightly lost if you're not familiar with the overall plot. The combat definitely the one of best parts of the game along with the visuals. Very interesting boss fights and tight controls. The sigil system in the game is new and lets players change how they play. Customizing this much adds a level of strategy and personalization that players who like making their games unique will enjoy. Honestly, not as good as Reverie Under the Moonlight, but I still recommend it for the vibes, fun combat, and impressive pixel art and animation. The Mobius Machine is a 2D metroidvania set on a hostile alien planet featuring 7 distinct areas for exploration. Throughout the game, players scavenge blueprints to craft upgrades for their arsenal and equipment, enhancing their abilities. Exploration is the key in navigating the interconnected world, uncovering new areas, shortcuts, and secret walls for extra scrap. The graphics are appealing and the combat so far fun and enough satisfying. I know this game not masterpiece, but it's this a new Metroidvania game that you can play in this 2024. After Image is a fantastic game if you're searching for a traditional Metroidvania. Massive insights, the map offers plenty of space for exploring various levels with excellent design, and it allows for some pretty nice player's expression with a variety of weapons that each have multiple special moves. The combat is very fluid and fun. You can cancel any animation or attack by jumping or dashing, giving you complete control over the main character even while they're in the air. Playing around with enemies is especially enjoyable once you have all the movement skills. Overall, it plays pretty nice, combat is fluid, platforming is very satisfying, and has many interesting challenges for extra items. Ender Magnolia Bloom in the Mist If you enjoy Ender Lily's game, then this will be an obvious follow-up. The current early access content can probably be clear in about two and a half hours, but it's two and a half hours of precise combat, beautiful ambience, and compelling with full storytelling. This game now has more upbeat music that still keep their character stick and nostalgic to their predecessor. The sound's effect for this game also improves a lot too. You don't need to play and the release to understand this game. Tough, there are some references that will make more sense with memories of the first game. Vigil The Longest Night Do you know Vigil The Longest Night coming back to Steam? I recommend this one to play in 2024. The game offers smooth graphics that draws you into its eerie atmosphere, complemented by a top-notch musical score. Exploring its fast map is a delight, with each corner hiding secrets and challenges waiting to be conquered. The storyline is immersive, a standout feature in a genre often focused solely on gameplay. Quest provides insight into the characters, while the plethora of collectible items, especially various armor sets and arcane items, adds depth to customization. Tevi is a solid 2D metroidvania with bullet hell and RPG elements. The game introduces players to Tevi, a bit skin protagonist on a quest to find legendary astral gears in a world filled with diverse characters and challenging enemies. With a deadly sword and versatile orbs as her weapons, Tevi engages in a fast-paced combat that rewards skillful combos and precision. Exploration is a key aspect of Tevi, offering a fast world to discover with hidden items and upgrades to enhance Tevi abilities. While Tevi might not reach the difficulty level of Souls-like games, players seeking a challenging yet fair experience will find enjoyment in its colorful and expensive world. Laika Age Truth Blood is Metroidvania with motorbike combat. The controls feel really good and intuitive. The story is emotional roller coaster. Everything that needs to fit into this sort of narrative is there and done right. The combat is easy to learn but hard to master. 
but I think you just need couple of time to master it. The gameplay is overall very fun and it feels fluid and it makes you feel cool in general. The exploration is also fun, the world is very pretty and has cool details. The majority of the game is really good. The original soundtrack and audio is composed really well and the art style fits the world beautifully. Mini Shoot Adventures is super fun top-down twin-stick shooter with Metroidvania gameplay. This game so addicting honestly. The combat is fluid, the sounds are punchy and once you start getting powerful, it feels great to just blow through areas that gave you trouble in the beginning. Simple core mechanism executed well. The dungeon design, boss fight design, overall map design that allows you to explore the same area in different way after unlocking new abilities. This game is amazing. Great progression curve, intelligent level design, and actually innovating on the Metroidvania genre in a unique way. Biomorph is a great new Metroidvania with wonderful art and music, a good collection of unique areas, enemies, and a great overall feel to the game. The game have plenty of upgrades and playstyle available to experiment with. The core mechanic of biomorphing, transforming into your enemies after you defeat them is very well done and result in a ton of reality interesting and unique enemies both to defeat and play to us. It makes exploration extremely fun and rewarding as you know with each new area, you will have new enemies to learn about and then be able to put their abilities to use. Aslibra Revision is a great 2D hack and slash RPG style with interesting story. One of the greatest RPG ever made. Story, gameplay, and music is top notch, and this hidden gem deserve a lot more recognition. The plot is heavy as any RPG and visual novels, making it interesting and important point. So many good time travel stories spawn since its initial development. It's always cool and exciting to see. Finding hidden equipment, learning new mechanics and plot details, challenging bosses you missed before, having a huge variety of equipment and customization that make progression extremely fun. Grime This is easily up there with any other high-quality metroidvania game you can think of. I honestly think it's a real shame it's not got more of a following. It's got a similar feel to Dark Souls in how it tells its story, weapon, armor, and skill variety, plenty of replay value in different builds, parry mechanics, and is definitely a huge part of combat. The game is a great combination of Souls-like and Metroidvania genre, and no doubt will fulfill your desire. The bosses are few in number, but very well designed, all seem fair and challenging. There is also a number of sub-bosses as well as unique elite enemies giving plenty of variety. The Last Fate is a gothic themed metroidvania game inspired by Dark Souls. It features beautiful pixel artwork, a great soundtrack, mostly responsive controls, and a variety of weapons, magic spells, and items to use. The game offers 13 primary weapons, 6 secondary weapons, and 16 spells. The enemies and bosses in this game have unique and gruesome design, inspired by Bloodborne. They are all vampires, which provides a nice contrast to the wolf monsters in Bloodborne. Each enemy has its own unique attack, preventing the gameplay from becoming repetitive. And the Lily's Quietus of the Night is an engaging metroidvania with a beautiful aesthetic and soundtrack. The combat is excellent, with a large number of collectible summoning spirit attacks that allow for a wide range of experimentation. The exploration is also well done, with flat visuals, although mostly different colors of stone and tragedy, and many secrets to uncover. Some of the secrets may be challenging to find, but the map helps by marking completed rooms. The developer has confirmed that the sequel to the game called Ender Magnolia currently in early access. In the meantime, Players can enjoy this game as its mechanics are quite similar. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown Follow Sargon, a young soldier who is part of the elite warrior clan known as the Immortals. The group is tasked with ensuring that Prince Ghassan can ascend to the throne. 
As new time powers are gradually introduced, the gameplay evolves, offering more challenging puzzles and platforming sequences. The combat, while engaging, could have been more strategic with some missed opportunities for deeper mechanics. Boss battles provide a satisfying challenge, requiring players to learn and adapt to enemy patterns. The platforming segments are well designed, offering a mix of puzzles and traversal obstacles that require players to utilize their abilities effectively. Blasphemous 2 If you play the first game, this is more of the same. Very good game, improve on the first game everything so well. The game is slightly different from the first part. We can choose from 3 weapons and additional status to improve our character. Blasphemous 2 is definitely easier to complete than its predecessor and completing 100% is faster. The positive are certainly new mechanics suitable for this type of the game. Great music and design opponents. The game is surprisingly smooth, mechanics work well, cutscene looks great, voice acting is great, very big improvement from the first game. The game feels also a bit more friendly as items and power-ups, and main objectives are explained better and more intuitive. Gestalt, Steam, and Cinder is an upcoming metroidvania platformer with pixel art style. I was waiting for this game for really long time honestly. The gameplay offers fast pace and responsive, you can easily switch between rifle and sword with fluid combat mechanics and highly responsive controls. The game features RPG elements that allow for better attributes, provides a greater level of depth and customization to enhance the gameplay experience. The developer confirmed the game will be released on May 22, 2024. If you enjoy Metroidvania games with fast-paced combat, especially pixel art style, and this game is a must-have. And that's it for today. What do you think about this list? I know there are best Metroidvania games that I haven't mentioned yet. Feel free to tell your best Metroidvania games that you think deserve to play in this 2024. Don't forget to like this video and make sure subscribe this channel if you don't want to miss another great list. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.